This young queen has successfully raised her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. Unfortunately for the ants, overground swarms of parasitic forid flies are beginning to hatch. Leafcutter innards provide perfect incubation chambers for the young of these insidious insects. The small scouting party of minor workers could lead any number of deadly jungle creatures back to their undefended queen. They will need time and luck on their side. The workers have located a patch of young seedlings, just what they were looking for. The leaves are soft enough to be sliced up with ease and carried back to the nest. The harvested leaf chunks are not eaten directly. Instead, they are used by the very smallest minim workers to cultivate a nutritious fungus. Over time, waste builds up in the fungus gardens, and if left unchecked, it can attract necrotrophic parasites. To deal with this problem, Atacephalotis dig out subterranean waste heaps, preferably as far as possible from the healthy nursery chambers. The ants' activities outside the nest have not gone unnoticed. They are being watched.
The most accessible leaves are located to the north of the nest entrance. However, another ata colony has already laid claim to them. The close proximity of these nests places the two colonies in direct competition with one another. Time will tell which has the potential to grow into a great empire, and which will submit to the unforgiving law of the undergrowth. A young velvet worm, Oroperipatis ecuadoriensis, is lurking over ground. These ancient mysterious predators are masters of ambush. They creep toward their unwitting victims silently on soft hollow legs. Once in range, they squirt oscillating streams of slime, forming a wide net that entraps their prey. The ants must defend themselves. As the sun sets below the horizon, and the thick rainforest canopy shrouds all but the slightest glimmer of moonlight, the predators of the night begin to emerge. ant has fallen prey to a wandering harvestman. Its long slender legs keep its vulnerable body elevated high above the leaf litter, and when threatened, it can release strong smelling odors to deter other predators. A stern response will be needed to drive this striding nuisance away.
Overwhelmed by the defensive leafcutter forces, the Harvestman decides to make a swift exit. The workers have done all they can to improve this refuse dump. The battle has begun.
Daybreak has arrived, and the creatures of the night scurry back to the dark crevices of the undergrowth. For the ants, however, the objectives of the day remain unchanged. Locate vegetation, defend supply lines, and process leaves. There is no time for rest. One of the ants has fallen prey to a young, leaf-mimic praying mantis. Once in range, its long, razor-clad forelegs can ensnare and impale victims with lightning speed. A brightly patterned jumping spider, say Casveri de Purpurius, has subdued one of the workers. This expert solo hunter combines extreme agility with incredible forward vision, allowing it to pounce on unsuspecting prey with pinpoint accuracy. Leafcutters aren't the only ants nearby. Whilst the two atter colonies joust for territory, Odontomachus bowery trap jaws roam the clearing. They can be found hunting alone or in small packs for vulnerable invertebrates to take back to their nest. They use snapping jaws to bludgeon their targets, exerting 300 times their body weight in a single blow.
the battle has begun. The opposing leaf cutters have retreated from one of their harvesting sites. They may have been easily startled this time, but they'll soon be back, and in greater numbers. These leaves are contested. The leaf cutters will generally not attack unless provoked, but today there's too much at stake. Only a strong show of force will deter the opposing colony. Opposing leaf cutters have been cleared from an area to the north. The leaves can now be stripped and sliced without interruption.
night falls, and under the cloak of darkness, velvet worms, bush crickets, and harvestmen emerge from their hiding places. Any ant straying from the relative safety of the trail will likely meet with an unfortunate end. The opposing Atta colony has retreated from one of its sites to the northwest, leaving unguarded foliage ripe for the picking. A Paracanthus varius bush cricket has spotted the ants. Its thorax and appendages are adorned with sharp protruding spikes, offering 360 degrees of protection and turning its substantial forelegs into a pair of deadly flails. This spiny devil will not easily be deterred. There are intruders in the nest. A territorial dispute has arisen between the Atta colonies. Opposing leaf cutters have been cleared from an area to the north. The leaves can now be stripped and sliced without interruption. Forage flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance. A fly has injected one of the workers with an egg. The ant's internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing larva. The leaf cutters have secured a vital harvesting site from their opponents. The leaf cutters have clashed due north of the nest. A fully developed velvet worm measuring a titanic seven centimeters in length has come face to face with the ants. Only a coordinated multi-pronged effort by the soldiers will be effective in subduing this mammoth predator. Forage flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance.
A fly has injected one of the workers with an egg. The ant's internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing larva. Opposing leaf cutters have been cleared from an area to the northeast. Harvesting operations can now continue. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. As the sun rises over the treetops above, the diurnal jungle invertebrates emerge once again to replace their nighttime counterparts. The ants will remain steadfast in their efforts. All must be risked for the harvest. Forage flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance. A fly has injected one of the workers with an egg. The ants' internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing larva. The ants will fight to the death. Thank you. 
Forid flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance. A fly has injected one of the workers with an egg. The ant's internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing larva. A fly has injected one of the workers with an egg. The ant's internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing larva. Dusk approaches. As the twilight fades, the daytime creatures withdraw to their hidden refuges to wait out the darkness. The ants can afford no such luxury. The cogs of the leafcutter machine will grind on throughout the night. Forehead flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance.
predators are loose in the nest, the larvae must be protected. injected one of the workers with an egg. The ant's internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing larva. There are intruders in the nest. The ants will fight to the death. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Forage flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance. A fly has injected one of the workers with an egg. The ant's internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing larva. There are intruders in the nest.
The first light marks the end of the nocturnal critter's reign over the harvesting grounds, but the ants are by no means safe. Mantids and jumping spiders that hunt by daylight are already prowling the leaf litter in search of breakfast. The ants must fight.
Forage flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance. Forage flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance. The battle has begun. The ants have subdued their rivals and achieved dominion over the...